All right, welcome back everybody to a, a close-up video of the Balrog uh, versus Gandalf by Prime One Studios. Um, some people have asked, you know, just a bit more detail on it and also to see the light-up feature. Um, and I also put a premium format, so Captain America there next to him. Um, I don't know if you can see that for scale, but uh, it's a hell of a lot bigger, obviously. So general premium format there. Prime One's monstrosity here. Um, so I will, first thing I'll do, I'll show you where the light up feature is, which is really cool. So if you can see there, so this uh, button is the light up feature. So just push that and it comes to life. So you can see how that takes this piece from, you know, one, one level to another. And uh, I mean, the sword, it just incredibly lights up. It's done so well. And then you obviously get Gandalf's view here of the flame through the mouth and the eyes. So it's pretty cool. Um, I just want to say a shout out to everyone who watched my unboxing too. A lot of uh, awesome comments and things there and appreciate that a lot. Um, I do these videos just to help out anybody thinking about buying it. And quite a few people have said that they you know, after seeing the video that they might pull the trigger. So hopefully this stuff helps. So a couple of little shots there of Gandalf. Again, he's done really well. Um, might be one tenth scale Gandalf, but this is a non-scaled um, uh, statue. So diorama, I guess. But uh, it's really, really difficult and challenging to actually get the whole thing in the you gotta stand sort of this far back. So, um, what else we got? We got plenty of detail on the base. So you can see uh, there's a ton of details there in the base. And you also get a bit more view of the um, actual Balrog himself. So, very, very cool. Someone almost uh, made comment about the seam line of the head too, so it's really hard to notice from this angle. But uh, the light up feature is pretty damn cool. It's got a flickering effect. Um, I thought these light up, but I was wrong. They just clip in, so it's only really the top and the sword in the face. Nonetheless, very, very cool, so. You can see from here, just a gigantic monster. Awesome base, you know, you come underneath here and you know, you got a ton of detail. The base alone is just riddled with detail. Skeleton skulls, you know, dwarven helmets and dwarven weapons and everything in Moria there that you'd expect. So, what is funny is that the paint here I don't know if it's paint or dust, but you can see that it rubs away. I don't know if I'm supposed to rub that away or not, but it. Um, I don't know if it's a dirty effect or if it's just dusty as. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll see what other people think on that. And, yeah, I mean, the detail around this thing is just insane. Um, if I, as carefully as I can... Pull this guy forward. You'll see the back end here, massive tail, wraps around the statue, which is a nice touch. Really, really highly detailed. So well done. Absolute monstrosity of a Balrog. really hard to get any good angles on this thing because it's so damn big but yeah I'll um eventually I want to put this guy with my few helmets and sword collection and all that sort of stuff and then along with the I suppose I've got a couple more characters here but um I want to put that guy with the you know the prime one line and uh, I reckon this is Tremendous start. So if anybody's thinking about this, this is uh, 700 edition size and I think the exclusive is might be even less um, So I would expect this to sell out 
So you can see flame effect there. Really nice. Underbelly of the Balrog. Detail in the body. Chest up through the neck. Just crazy. Crazy. So good. So, yeah, so there you go, guys. Just a bit of a close up um, of the Balrog and a comparison there to a premium format, um, which monsters it. It's about 40 to 50 kilos, so that's about 90 to 100 pounds ish. Uh, so it, it's very heavy. But what is good is you can sort of grab it sort of under here. I guess this is sturdy enough. And uh, somewhere around the back here if you need to move it. But yeah, I wouldn't move it. I only moved it from over there. And it was like a real pain in the ass to get it here. But yeah, really, really cool. Cool, cool, cool piece. Very, very big. Very heavy. Awesome light up effect. Low edition size, unbelievable movie scene that they chose, you know, perfect scene. Just so well done. Just such an awesome piece. So if you can, I'd suggest get your hands on one. You do need a lot of room. It is about 800 mil from the front to the back. So from this point to this point, it's about 800 mil. Um, and also from the base to the top of this part of the flame, it's about 800 mil as well. So 800 by 800, and then I think wide from the sword. So some people have asked me about the base size. Um, actually, the sword sticks out and the hand sticks out quite a bit. So, or also the wings. So you have to, that's about 650 mil wide. So there you have it. Gandalf facing down that, <laughs> which is pretty damn cool, pretty damn cool. So anyway, there you have a bit of a close up on uh, the Balrog versus Gandalf. Thanks for watching.